The dining hall back then was built in 1966, and it wasn't the dining hall. It was called Memorial Student Union, MSU. Uh, what it consisted of was a dining room that had a capacity of 500 people. It had a snack bar and a seating area for like the commuter students on the opposite side. It had the campus bookstore. It had a game room. It had the campus post office. And it had, the, and it had two sets of offices, the food center director's office and the college center uh, manager's office. And that's basically what you might say was in the center of campus at that time and was the hub of activity. We had the Powell Dining Hall, which is where Henson Hall is now. And it had two sides when you walked in. One was like a regular side and then the other side had the same food, but it had tablecloths. <laughs> So it was like this big deal of like, did you feel like dining on the fancy side at that time? Uh, but we only had two um, choices. So it'd be like hot turkey sandwich or such and such. So again, when I hear students like say like they're tired of, you know, what they're having in the dining hall, I, I want to say like, you have like 97 choices on the daily. <laughs> How can you be tired of, of what's in there? Um, but I remember the donut machine. I was very fond of the donut machine and um, we were big brunch fans because uh, they started omelet bar when I was in college. So that was very exciting. Um, and then we also had where Chick-fil-A is now, we had the Gull's Nest. So that's where you could go and get a grilled cheese or a hamburger or anything like that. But certainly not the choices that they have now at the commons i get i get excited when we have a school group coming and i part of it is to take them to lunch there i kind of overdo it which now like with the trayless uh system it make it kind of stops me from engorging myself <laughs> um when we're in the in the commons when i got here there was a lot of growth going on and 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 simultaneously we we launched uh, a concession stand at the stadium, whereas, you know, in the past it had been a bridge table with some stuff on it, <laughs> you know. Uh, we were able to open up the operations at GAC. Although we had a Starbucks operation in Cool Beans, we were able to uh, bring the single most popular option that students on campus like nationwide, which is Chick-fil-A. And one thing over the years, you know, students what used to be comfort food, which might have been meatloaf and mashed potatoes, uh, which re reminded them of what their experiences at home. Now it's what what national brands they're comfortable having at home, and that's what they want to see on campuses. So we had a great opportunity to incorporate that in our program. One of the great strengths of Salisbury University, it has a, everything a big campus has, but it still has a small town feel. And dining, plays a very central role in bringing those students together. And a dining hall, to me, is is crucial in developing that the school spirit and sense of camaraderie. But we don't want students to get to lose that experience of trying new things and being able to sit down with people they know or don't, or coming and join us in our workforce. And I'm very, very glad that we haven't had a second first time. Back in the day, the student workforce only consisted of a couple of dozen people that worked in catering. We have as many as 250 students actively involved in our program right now, working. We have more students working in our program than we have non-students. It, it helps us to be engaged with students, to know what they want, to be reactive. They are so full of ideas that we haven't even thought of. And I am so proud of the food we serve here. I don't think it's ever been better. There hasn't been one break period where we're not thinking we're not changing something, and we're constantly looking ahead for what the next project will be. We've been very fortunate to run a program here that allows us not only to run our own program, but to renovate and update and take what we've learned at other universities and from our peers and from the industry and make them happen here. When I look at what we've done, it's just seriously been continuous. It occurs to me for someone who starts school this year, by the time they graduate and come back the following year, it probably isn't the same as when they first got here at all.